Welcome back guys to another video. Let's talk about the Tesla Semi. This is something that people are not addressing and this is a vehicle that a lot of people are overlooking. When Tesla first unveiled a Tesla Semi, there was a lot of enthusiasm for the truck. I mean, everyone's going crazy. News just kept talking about it. And after like a few weeks, no one really talked about it. Most people are mostly focused on the autopilot, robo taxis, ride hail, the Model X, the Model 3, etc sales and also that crazy stock offering i get it those are pretty interesting things but keep in mind that tesla because of the tesla semi it really did help them become the world's most valuable automaker by market cap if you combine all the other companies together their market cap is about the same size as tesla that is how big of a giant they have become and they gotta give major thanks and credit to the tesla semi and there's a lot of analysts out there for example Garrett Nelson, which is a senior equities research analyst from the investment research firm CFRA, he's stating that he's super bullish on this massive semi truck and saying that next year, the main reason for the massive growth and also this year's massive growth will most likely be from the Tesla semi truck. And the analyst also said that Tesla's ongoing projects 2021 will definitely be their year. So you are going to have several analysts out there saying that Tesla is a phenomenal company and the Tesla semi truck will be the main category and the main catalyst. Now, keep in mind that the Tesla semi, as cool as it is, you need a ton of battery cells. OK, so Tesla recently did demand LG Chem to double its battery cell production. The Austin Gigafactory will be the production center that makes the Tesla semi trucks. And with the Tesla semi trucks needing roughly six to seven times more battery cells than the typical Tesla Model 3 vehicle or Model S, you better bet that Tesla needs to start ramping up production of the battery cells. Telling LG Chem to hurry up, double your production. We need the battery cells more than ever before because we will be cranking out the Tesla semi literally next year, 2021, from the Austin Gigafactory. Tesla has already received several orders even from really co weird companies they've never even heard of. And you also have companies from Walmart, who is pretty serious about logistics. Keep in mind the world of e-commerce is rising up. World Walmart is coming out with Walmart Plus. You have several other smaller retail firms and also retail stores, brick and mortar, online e-commerce giants ordering Tesla semis because they feel like logistics is super important. You don't want your products to arrive super late or super delayed every time when your customers order something from your site or store. That looks really bad. Walmart, for example, has Walmart Plus. You order goods, they deliver the goods directly to your home. Walmart is expecting massive amounts of people using it. So we're needing a ton of semi trucks to transfer goods from a point A location, a facility that's far away, to their main super center, the Walmart retail stores. So they have ordered several Tesla semis and they should be expecting delivery around quarter two, quarter three of 2021. Truck sales have been increasing year over year because you got more people using e-commerce lately. You got more orders for last mile delivery vans from UPS and FedEx. You got more orders for massive semi trucks. Trade is going pretty well right now. I mean, the pandemic has somewhat died down in several countries around the globe, especially Asia. So you should be seeing massive amounts of people ordering semi trucks. And guess what? Who is the only person at this current moment manufacturing massive electric semi trucks? Only Tesla. So they got this whole market that they're dominating. Sure, you got Daimler, who's also doing electric semi trucks. You also have a few off brand companies out there doing it. You got Nikola Motors, Hylion, all doing these massive class eight semi trucks. And you do have some competition here and there. Well, keep in mind that the majority of people who are making these sustainable energy semi trucks, they're not all electric, whereas Tesla is fully electric. I mean, you got Hylion going for natural gas. You got Nikola Motors going for hydrogen. But keep in mind that everyone else who's researching semi trucks in the new energy sector do not have a factory. Like seriously, Tesla is the only guy at this current moment that has a factory that's producing electric semi trucks. No one else is doing it. I think the skill level for these massive electric semi trucks are extremely high and no one has a factory at this current moment producing it. Tesla is the only company that has a clear timeline about when the trucks are coming out. Whereas other companies are like, um, maybe in two to three years, something like that. Whereas Tesla is already preparing a bunch of battery cells. 
Yes, you could make a bunch of trucks, you could set up a factory right now, but we're going to be getting the battery cells. Tesla already struck the massive deal of LG Chem to produce battery cells. Tesla has also just wrapped up an enormous $5 billion of stock offering in a single day, which they most likely will use some of the money to open up their first gigafactory in Indonesia to extract nickel. And nickel makes the 4680 batteries way denser. And we will be seeing the 4680 batteries being implemented in the massive Tesla semi trucks and other Tesla vehicles in two years. So it's looking really, really good, especially how we're seeing a massive increase in logistics. And we got e-commerce going really, really heavy. If you check out the stocks, FedEx stock, UPS stock, those guys are rising enormously. And there's a massive demand and a massive you know, craze for class eight trucks. And there's a massive craze for last mile delivery vans. That's why seeing these massive logistic industries and electric sector growing so much. Last mile at least, we should be seeing Tesla making enormous Tesla superchargers. We've heard Musk said this before, that if you use the regular superchargers for the Model 3 and you try to charge it on the Tesla Semi, it will take hours. So you, not only do you have to build a factory and start making the Tesla Semi trucks, and not only do you have to get the battery cells to supply the massive trucks, but you also need to make a whole new network of Tesla Gigafactories that's specifically made for the Tesla Semi. No other company is doing it. Sure, you may have a company over there that made the first electric semi truck, but they don't have enough battery cells to supply massive demand. They don't have a factory and they have no plans in making any sort of a supercharger network for their semi truck that's fully electric. Tesla, on the other hand, already is creating a charging station that charges the Tesla Semi from zero to 100% in less than 30 minutes. These trucks, when they're in transportation mode, should not be delayed that much. So if you're charging like two, three hours every like 300, 400 miles, massive delays in logistics. If you're charging 30 minutes, you're fine. And by the way, last thing to wrap things up, the Tesla Semi also has just recently increased its range from 500 miles per charge to 620-ish miles per charge. So you already have the Tesla Semi. They have a lot of battery cells that's behind it. You know, you got Tesla already securing a bunch of deals and also a bunch of battery networks. You have Tesla already having the Austin Gigafactory. They will be producing the vehicles very soon and also future autopilot for the trucks with a lot of analysts backing the Tesla semi trucks, saying how this is like the next big thing. And the big thing is no one is really making electric semi trucks, but Tesla, like they have the production, they got the battery cells, they got the autopilot to go with it and the massive capital that could do whatever they want to. So Tesla is really far in the lead. I say Tesla is easily three years ahead of its competition, especially in the class eight electric truck industry. Thanks for watching guys and comment below.